The most popular Warframe question is should you play it and is it worth it? Yes, it's free. Well, you might be wondering why I threw my wallet at the door. My wallet represents money and I just threw it away for Warframe. Actually, no, because here's the thing about Warframe. You don't have to spend any money on it. Like it's fully free. It just, you can pay money to either look nice or get it up faster. But here's the thing about Warframe. I'm gonna go in depth about it for a bit and why people always complain about it. Cause I know someone's gonna end up in my comments like this. People are gonna be like, but you was to game me, that's so wrong. You're a stupid idiot. Warframe is trash and there's nothing to do with you stupid doodle it. God damn, it's me to win. Wah! Wrong. I, oh yeah, you can see my infinite loop. Well, I'll show you why it's wrong in a second, but I'll also show you the reasons why people dislike the game a big chungus amount, which some of the complaints are understandable. Like, I, I can verify that there are flaws in Warframe, but at the same time, it's not a game that should get absolutely demolished by a beam of cancellation. But, uh, it, Warframe is turning into a quest for more money since Tencent bought a D or Warframe. I don't know how it works, but uh, let's just get into it. All right, here we are in Warframe. This looks, the graphics, fantastic. Nothing to complain about. If anyone complains about the graphics, actually, okay, there is one uh, vile com complaint about graphics, and that is the new Void Storms. Now, the it, it's just visually, it is a lot going on. Well, I can I can agree with that. But you know, the concept of Void Storm is cool. But yes, that is an example of that is a small example of too too much graphics or bad graphics. But otherwise, I think the Warframe graphics are fantastic unless you get stuck in the middle of like some ship block, which bugs we'll get into later. But this game gets really trashed on for the amount you have to grind for something or the amount of bugs that you have. Now, bugs, that's a viable point. But luckily, DE seems to have somewhat of a handle on this. Somewhat. Not fully. Somewhat. 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 Of a handle on this. And they have a handle on this by deploying hotfixes all the damn time. Like, literally, 24 minutes ago, hotfix. Yeah, one of the things is bugs. Now, yes, this game has very many bugs. But, you know, with these hotfixes, some of them go away. It's a little bit of a smoother game. But you will run into bugs in this game. That That's just one thing you will consistently run into. Which, I mean, personally, I don't think it gets to a point where you should just quit the game it is very irritating sometimes if you're like trying to just queue for a mission and it's like this squad could not be found. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Another thing that people complain about is the grind. 100% understandable, but here's the thing. That's what Warframe is about is the grind. It's a looter shooter and you just craft everything beyond that. Everything that I have is pretty much a grind. I have not spent any money. I maybe spent like five bucks for, uh, uh, hold on, appearance, cyan down I'm pretty sure I paid for this because I don't remember getting this at all. And this I got from an event, from an event. I had no clue where this came from. This came from Nightwave. So honestly, you can make your Warframe look pretty cool for free. Also, I mean, you don't have to necessarily grind. I mean, some things are a grind, like, you know, Nightwave is kind of a grind. But, you know, uh, you know, I haven't spent any money, but otherwise a lot of this, a lot of my other equipment has been an absolute grind. Uh, probably the most difficult grinds. I honestly don't think primes are like a, a necessarily difficult prime nowadays because you could just buy it for platinum. The prices go down quite a bit. I think Kuba weapons, that's kind of a grind. That's like two hours if you're lucky with your Rakuten mods. Uh, if you're just poop socking, you can get it done in four. So that's that's a pretty big grind. Getting the Wraith weapons, that's a pain in the ass. So Kuva weapons, definitely a, a poop sock. Number one piece of advice, do not sell your Kuva weapons. Keep them and make sure they're fully leveled up. This It's just so much more grinding. Like every weapon you see here, well, it's just either two hours for everyone. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen 17 times two. That's, you're popping 34 hours of a game just for weapons some of them are you know they're they're good weapons but you reminder there's mid game weapons mid end game weapons depends on where you really want to consider them but i mean there's a lot of grind oh there's okay not i just counted that that's not a cool weapon don't cry about it but yeah this is a huge grind of warframe i can 100 see that some other grinds of warframe relics and arcanes uh 
Arcanes are another way you have to just pretty much grind when it's the uh, Scarlet Spear event. The, the matter of getting resources is a grind because there are some weapons where the, the amount of resources is just completely unreasonable. Uh, I'll give you the example. If anyone knows the Cybear, you go to the Cybear and you look at the blueprint. 30,000 Cryotic. Now, just to let you know, one extractor from an excavation mission or one drill gives you 100 cryotic now luckily a resource booster does affect how much you get but 30,000 for the cyber that's just completely unreasonable like it looks really cool for me but it's not worth 30 th no weapon should be 30,000 cryotic i mean 50,000 alloy plates are not that difficult to get but 50,000 for this weapon not really worth it so there are like some niche grinds in this game that you do have to be careful of and that they're pretty stupid i'm gonna be honest uh another one could be cetus wisps if you're not high enough with the quills it could be a pain to get and i mean if i went through my warframe inventory of crafting items i guarantee you i'd find something that's just an absolute grind or some stupid things equinox classic equinox there shouldn't be no reason why i had to get dot multiple different parts for th different night aspects and day aspects that's just ridiculous harrow such a stupid grind. I've done the Kufa spy mission so many times, and I cannot get the Harrow part, and I've done the defection mission quite a few times, and I still can't get a Harrow part. It's another stupid grind. Uh, I I don't know what happened to my Chromo parts. I'm going to be honest. Those just disappeared. All right. Vara, you have to pop spy missions, and for me, I have to pop some high-level ones to be able to get the blueprint, which that shouldn't be too bad, honestly, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to grind. That's just the thing. Like, and Korra, another thing you have to grind for. I'm not going to do it. Mesa, another stupid grind. Now, it's not mu as much of a grind. It's, it's probably like a very small grind, but what you have to do is you have to collect a uh, mutilus allied V coordinates, uh, make the assassination blueprint, and you have to farm that thing. And you can only get s the sources of the mutilus allied V coordinates. You're either going on Deimos and doing the survival mission, or you're getting it from events. Oh, let's see what other ones. Protea, I'm not even going to try. I'm I'm probably just going to buy Protea with Platinum if I ever get that desperate. Because honestly, I don't really want Protea. It doesn't really uh, tickle my fancy. Sevagoth is another farm that I really do not look forward to. But Sevagoth seems really cool. Uh, it's a 10% drop chance from the higher level Voidstorm missions. Hmm, yes, airplane. <laughs> another stupid thing you have to grind for is the ability to fight profit taker now i do see the point of making sure the people that are doing these missions know somewhat about warframe so they just don't like be useless in a mission but to be able to fight profit taker you have to get to the max level of the uh solaris united and that's a grind in itself because you do have to farm debt bonds and that that's just a that's a whole fiasco i don't want to go through and credits that's another grind right i get people in my dm saying well he's master rank 22 he should have billions of credits i don't go to the index and grind i don't farm profit taker because that's just not my thing you know i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna get the cool shit the easiest way possible like you won't catch me doing the index rarely ever now that i can't really i don't know this for sure or not but i don't know if credit boosters stack because what I did was I had a Nightwave credit booster, then I had a Daily Reward credit booster, and it seemed just to add together. So I wasn't a four times booster, it was just two times booster for uh, four days instead of three. Which I was kind of pissed about that because I'm not doing this shit unless it's like mega boosted. I mean, another grind is the Steel Path, but that was just to keep like high level players busy. And guess what? I still haven't touched it for shit. Because I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it unless I really want to or feel super motivated to, to do it. Like you have to get the ultimate poop soccer loadout and people and these, a lot of Warframe creators are out here catering to the poop soccer level of players, which that's completely fine. But what's happening is personally, what I think is happening is the new players are getting scared by the fact that they can't get certain mods or certain weapons. They can't get they can't get the Kuva Brahma by day one, or they can't get Conditioned Overload by day one, or Blood Rush by day one. It's scaring off a lot of players, I think, and it's just setting up these unrealistic goals 
And these players are like, fuck, I'm not going to do this shit. And I, I mean, that's another way people aren't really going to play Warframe is like the grind and the fear that these content creators are often showing. Now I'm going to get so much shit for this, but I mean, you have to see my point. Like, new players are, are scared. Like, Warframe is worth playing. It's just what's seen by the public of Warframe. They're just... They just don't. They just feel uncertain, and when you're just intimidating someone for so long, they're just not going to play the game. They're going to go to something easier, like Minecraft, for example. Everyone understands Minecraft, and I mean, there's still great weapons that you can get day one, and there's still great weapons that you can get from the junctions. Like it's just, it's that simple. I don't. There. I mean, there's. I keep on saying it's so simple, but. It's really important that we start catering to these new players so they see that Warframe is worth playing. Or somewhat worth playing. Now, D, they do have some stinkers and banning players. I'm not familiar with that, and I'm not familiar with the uh, verified content creator or content partner. I, I have no idea what's going on with that, but I don't... I mean, for me, I don't think that really applies to the new player. I mean, it does apply if they agree with D's tactics, but... It, that's just politics. I'm not going to get uh, involved with that. And I mean, there are updates that can save Warframe and can cater to new players. It's just a matter of making things less of a grind. Because then you have these veteran players just absolutely taking a shit on everything. But I do think Warframe needs an operation health, which I do think the veteran players can take just a, a stall from an update. Now, I know this has happened in the past, but that's just from DE taking a while to make content. Uh, you know, they're going to say COVID-19 restrictions. I'm not sure where their offices are, so I'm not sure on, you know, the exact politics of that. But some some useless things. Leverian, that just seemed like a waste of time, I'm going to be honest. They could have made, like, a, a, you know, a YouTube animation of the lore. Even though it might have taken more time, it would have been so much cooler to see. And it would have been much more publicity. Because Leverian, this just you just donate credits there for a Nightwave challenge. That's about it. Like, that's the only reason... I go to the Varian, and if I wanted to get to know some lore, I'd rather watch like a movie or a video to be entertained instead of having to go read through a museum sort of thing. I mean, yeah, I kind of, I lightly touched up on this, but Nightwave, it, it gets you to do different things, but it's just a whole nother grind. And I, like, if you look at this, I really haven't touched it too much, which I probably should. And I haven't even done any of the challenges this week because I just haven't really been on. I've just been uploading Pokemon packs, but... I did receive a comment asking if I'm still going to make Warframe content, so I do want to make this a little bit of an update for any new players or returning players that either you agree or disagree with me, but just hear me out on this. It, it'll be It's worth it for new players if they understand that they don't have to follow these unrealistic goals set by certain uh, veteran players or content creators that are... Because you have to recognize the fact that they're catering to the veterans because the veterans are pretty much the only people that are staying there, and when these new players see what's going on and they want to try to do something, it's just pushing them to uh, a ridiculous bound. Like Necromex, I had to do a grind for that for a while, but reminder that I had some decent stuff to be able to do it, but if you're a new player and you see a necro Necromex and you're like, ooh, I want that, you're going to be poop socking for so long and you're not going to be contributing to your team as much as you should be. So like, there's this timeline of progression and this content that's being pushed out is kind of getting people to just skip across the line. So instead of going like, you know, Warframe, you know, Prime stuff, grab a mag, you know, somewhere in there, find out an art gun that you really like, and then go into a Necromech later game. They're just trying to go from, they're trying to go from a Paris, they're trying to go from the Mark I Paris to a Necromech. And that's just extremely dangerous and unrealistic. You know, you're going to go from Paris to Karak to Archiplasmor, then grab a mag maybe, and then maybe Necromech. Uh, it's just, yeah, unrealistic goals. It's weighing down a lot of new players, but it is worth, Warframe is worth playing. Just don't be, don't set yourself up for unrealistic goals that you see a lot of these content creators out here with. Like for me, I, I guarantee you I made a few videos that have been pushing some OP loadout maybe, but 
in my heart, I do believe that you know we should be catering to you know new players with new player guides, which uh, I should be able to make a new player guide out here. I did put out the Warframe uh, tips video. It, that was a pretty big, big chunk of video. So I do appreciate the uh, views and the likes and shit that's getting on that. But it, I mean, Warframe is a very, like I have played this game for over what, 400 days on PC and over a hundred on console. It's been a super long time since I played on console, but I did put in my time there. And I do know before I just get dis dismissed for being a non, non, uh, you're not mastering 30 and you don't have billions of credits. I'm before I get dismissed for that. I've been here for a while, so I know, I know what's up. And I've watched Warframe videos to figure out what the fuck's going on. That's another thing. Is people having to rely on YouTube videos to learn everything. Like, at the start, sure. What makes sense is, what I really like about Warframe that I was a little bit confused on about Destiny with, which I do kind of want to go back to retry Destiny, but... It was uh, just the progression in terms of the map. So what's really nice about Warframe, you just have the lines and you have the blue dots if you haven't completed the mission. And the blue dots lead to the next dots and the next. But for, you know, resources, people don't necessarily know, you know, hover over this, you can deploy an extractor. I don't use extractors, it's just a waste of my time. Because we all know the fact that I can understand watching a YouTube video to learn something, but you, you shouldn't... To I believe that if you need to find information within the game, like uh, drop rates for something or you know something like that, I don't think you should go to an external website to find out that. I, I personally think that should be in the codex. Like ultimate loadouts, that should not be in the game, 100%. I understand that being just for YouTube videos for entertainment. But if I wanna see the drop rate for Sevagoth parts in the Void Storms, I personally believe that should be in the codex like saying that or i should be able to see the drop chances for harrow within the game and a lot of players i mean they they see the codex and it just doesn't make much sense to them like quest the quest ui i think it's okay like visually quests i i think a lot of them have a great storyline i think warframe has a solid storyline but it's just missing that sauce and i don't know what's happening with the new war like you know i've sat through all of these and it's like what's going on but my oh man it's just so difficult to talk about because it's just it's very there's a lot of intricacies within warframe and like where you farm certain things it's, it's just insane been here for so long that i know a lot so i can't really get pissed off by the game by not knowing these things but i mean and for brighter lookouts they've been fixing things you know railjack i 100 percent think this this uh ui sort of the mod configs for the uh railjack that was 100 percent fantastic choice because previously it was stupid it was dumber than a bag of rocks like it made you had to use so much Dirac, which is just a random resource that you couldn't really farm outside of Railjack, and I didn't want to farm that shit. But now, you can use Endo. So, uh, as you can see, I'm still trying to up, or level up my Plexus, but as you can see, I really haven't been playing that much recently. So, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of layers. You know, Onions have layers. Shrek said it best, bro. Onions have layers. Now, I really don't want to get into the whole Railjack thing, like, in depth, but... You know, the Railjack update, solid. Let's just go through some other... Like, some other... I can't just be shooting on Warframe the whole time. I do have to explain some benefits. I think the new world system was pretty cool. Uh, playing the Eidolon was a, a little bit dead. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, but I do think uh, Deimos and, you know, uh, Solaris, pretty cool. Terrorless fighting, it's it's cool. It's a unique experience, but I wish they would made it uh, make it a little more worth it in terms of doing it. Because what you're really looking for there is for standing with the quills to get a better amp, which that's another layer of grinding. But uh, uh, you know, I was here. here okay, let's start off with this. I joined Warframe around the time of Octavia's Anthem, I believe. Or it was before Octavia's Anthem, 
that I started playing this game. Uh, you know, I don't know how it was before that. I know there was some really weird things where you used to use nav corners to buy locations on planets. But otherwise, before that, I don't know. And I really don't think that historical knowledge really provides much of an argument here. Uh, in terms of progress, I do think it's Warframe is being moved in somewhat of a correct direction. Railjack is at a very weird position right now. I'm on a whole tangent, but yeah, it's just that's one very odd thing. I do think Necromex were a really cool addition, adding another layer of depth to Warframe. Uh, grab a mag stop. I think it's pretty badass when you just whip out and you just have an automatic grenade launch and you're just going blah. But, uh, I mean, some people will hate on it. I just like it. So, yeah, I mean, this was a disorganized rant video, but I do think, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, are able to come to your own conclusions. And if you have not played Warframe, give it a shot. That's all I got to say. Give it a shot.